Hi, I'm back. This time around, I'm going to show you another set of prompt templates. In this case, we're dealing with backgrounds, although you can use it for other things like character prompts. I've taken this guy's instructions in CV type. I'll put the link in the description below. All I have to do is to show more in complete workflow. Scroll all the way and just copy and paste this particular paragraph. He specifically tells you to go to ChatGPT and copy this command. So what this command does is it, de it describes a background in extreme detail. You want to try the other stuff like style pow and then generate a couple of batches, it's up to you. But I think this is more than enough. So let's try it out. Go to ChatGPT and just paste the whole thing. Only thing you have to change is this part here. Describe an award-winning photograph of what you want change it to something else like I want a Japanese garden click OK very quickly ChatGPT will generate all this for you and do note his prompts have brackets so it provides some kind of emphasis already if you do not want that I've also a variant which I'll put in my description below that doesn't have the brackets so it doesn't have any brackets it's just in commas like normal prompts all right I copy and paste this no brackets in the template Japanese garden let's go yeah, and immediately, as you can see here, it's just prompts with commas. If you feel that the amount of prompts is kind of little with 15 phrases, feel free to refine and fine tune your prompt. Let me do uh, 25 phrases instead. Okay, instead of three ideas, just do, just give me one idea. Okay, pretty nice. Give me a longer set of prompts describing an exquisite Japanese garden. Let's copy this whole thing. And one great thing is that you can use this and add on to the existing prompt. Remember in the, in the previous video, we used a set of character generated prompts. If you don't know, go and look at my other video to create uh, this image of this girl in a cafe. This time around, we have uh, the background. So I'm going to copy the background. I'm going to click generate. <laughs> this is most likely overkill. Um, there's a lot of prompts here. I'm trying to get a very detailed background stuff, but somehow girls outfit of high-waisted jeans and the crop top is missing. It's all about fine-tuning and if you want, you can increase the number of batches to get back uh, certain elements of things that you want in your image. So let's add the weight for high-waisted jeans, add the weight for crop top. Let's see whether we can get the image back. Let's try again. Okay, <laughs> we got the crop top, we got the jeans back here, we got the very, very detailed Japanese garden behind there. Right, you get the idea. So what I normally do is I will just fine tune the prompts, right? If there's too many, I'll just delete some. Some really don't make sense. ChatGPT would even put things like soothing Japanese music. So delete those, right? That's it. Next up, I'm going to show you an online encyclopedia of prompts that you can use for stable diffusion. That's it. Bye.